way, man. That vertigo delivered so much. And now we get to head to something not that, but different. <laughs> Kind of, different. kind of, kind of like Inferno, kind of, but like ultimately not, you know, like here we go. It's the second map in this series, Vitality. Trying to 2-0 Complexity and Complexity doing everything in their power to put a stop to it. Hard be execute. Vitality are walking a ramp right now. It's just shocks here. They don't even have a kit. So to solo B is a danger. What <laughs> jump shot? I don't even know how that hits. But JKS finding the necessary opener that surely should win cold around. Unless Vitality get quick picks back into the site, it should be cold pushing in. Config. He's had enough. He looked damn good on that first map, and he wants to continue it. Goosh onto Masuta, trying to finish the job, and that will come through swimmingly. RPK on a flank, and they were only ready for one. They dealt with him, and now they trade RPK. Cole take the pistol right away. They've won three out of three in this map and series, but in both pistol anti ecos, they got forced upon by Vitality. So expect to see that here. Blame F happy with that result, and rightfully so after dropping that first map. And I'm telling you, Config, that guy's wild. Two AKs in the round for Cole. Ooh. Aww. Complexity waited for the nade stack. You would have loved to have seen it come through, but it won't. Complexity, you've got the read. Now they're out in middle. And without ever even worrying about all that investment coming their way from Vitality. Oh, that might be a nice little nade. Onto Config, and it is. All right, Config's down low. That's one of these AKs already looking a little more fragile. And up against this scout, you know, Deagle investment, he's now a one-hit kill. So everyone wants a piece of Config here. Real slow from complexity. Apex playing timing up here on ticket. And it's always scary, but there he is hitting a good timing on the first. Poison board down low as well. And is that trend of complexity losing these anti ecos looking to hold true? Because it's down to. Oh. oh, just rush, man. That is a slaughter. It's not just the force by victory from Vitality, it's flawless as well. They get out of it with both the AKs, and it's more of the same. These pistols, the, these force buys from the Frenchman are so damn good. And complexity. Every time, it feels like this caution kind of comes back to punish them, right? They're silent sneaking up through con. Apex makes contact. That's when the player at ramp tries to swing. And man, everything just goes from bad to worse in the blink of an eye. Nevera's sitting behind Zaiwu like, come on, guys, lose this map. I want to play in this series. I want to play Dust 2. But uh, Vitality, they got other plans. They want to uh, take it in a quick 2-0 with their third force by victory. Carl won three flat Ecos in the first map. Vitality have now won three second round buys. And Cole, and this is what we talk about, right? We say like, oh, it's better than winning the pistol because it actually is. The money that Cole have in this round is so whack. 1,400. And Vitality have decent buys. They have the AKs retrieved from Complexity's uh, pistol win. Two of them, M4 as well. Their buy is so much better. It's not even comparable. Cole with double flashes and just the Eags and P250s. Config. Looking for a pick. He's been jump spot. Ooh, Zaiwu giving it another go. It's a danger. He's just playing with his food and finally swinging on another shot from Config. Zaiwu, the middle finger is out, and he's taken the first. Complexity now just hoping that they're given something by Vitality. Vitality are responding to this kind of slow creep with a slow play of their own. And RPK decides, I'm sick and I'm tired of waiting around. So he collects these kills. And it's all left on to JKS up in the apartments alone, armed with the Deagle and armor. And a 1v5 that would have to be the stuff of legends for JKS. There's just too many players peeking him there on the swing. And Vitality are in with a second. Now a full eco looming for complexity. 
And I'm hoping we just see something like, you know, like, like a fast B playing around like this where you are just eco. Why not? It's keep it simple. You're probably not going to win it anyway. And quite frankly, the only round we've seen them have so far is the fast B execute. Or fast, just anything fast. That's really what I'm asking for here. I don't care if it's A or B. <laughs> but these slow creeps from Cole have given so much time to Vitality to get set up, to choose when and where to fight. And so in this round, they will just try and flood into this A site. RPK, there's the lineup, there's the mode out. He gets it all under control. Calculated. That's three fast ones for Vitality. Flexity with a pistol and then a heartbreak. Although we got that buy back in. And so now let's see what complexity you're going to do. When they've got everything they need, they've got good utility, they've got the firepower advantage leaning their way, because this is an attempt at a bonus round from Vitality. You know, you'd think that winning the force buy in the second, going on to get two more would be enough, but they want even more than that. So they're coming in with the force here. Mid control taken again for complexity. They, they, they loved getting this control, but we still really have yet to get a good sense of what it is they're looking to do with it once they've got it. And I think mostly that they're kind of hoping for a few more engagements to come through from Vitality through like the channels that complexity are created. They've been smoking off cat. They've been early smoking window. And, and then I think, you know, that they're waiting here, hoping that they get given an unfavorable engagement from Vitality where they can take the advantage. That doesn't come their way. So they try and go fast through top connector into the site. But RPK with the mow down and the crossfire with Zaiwu. Damn, that's a fast clean round for Vitality again. The worst part about that is the first player out, it's config, and he's hunting Zaiwu. He's chasing the sandwich player, but RPK swings at the perfect time, right before Zaiwu is in config's crosshair and doubles up. Then Zaiwu comes out wide, finishes JKS looking at triple. And yeah, that's the like epitome of a crossfire right there, working out for Vitality. They're getting hyped. And they're getting rounds, most importantly, 4-1. Slaughtering complexity right now. Another eco coming through, poison saving for the orb. Blame running with a Mac 10 right to connector. It's gonna get peeked out by Apex. Had enough for this one with an orb kill, doubling up. Boy, oh boy, blink and you miss it. It's already out of the window for Cole. Eco wins may be prevalent, but not in this one. Apex is on for an, an ace of his own, perhaps, if Zaiwu, sorry, RPK allows it rather jumping from CT. Apex swings with a fourth, and Zaiwu gonna steal it away right at the bitter end. It's 5-1 with five alive. Cole coming back in with a buy. Poison on the orb, though. Definitely something to keep your eyes on. This is it. He's got to show us something. Yeah, this is his time to shine. He needs it. Complexity needed. Blink of an eye, whole half a play could just slip away. Avera looking on word. We're not entirely sure, but if this were to go to a third map, do you guys think that there would be a sub? Yeah. Yeah, you know, we, we've seen the Vera play in Dust of Vitality. It seems like one of the maps they're trying to get him accustomed to, that and Inferno. So I would imagine it comes in. He's sick as well. And right now, I mean, the Vera is like the biggest complexity fan out there. He's wanting to, <laughs> he's wanting to have his time in the server. Ooh. There it is, the B attempt from Rush leading the charge. He's Flash. good on the flash and they even deal with Masuta. It's back to B and there's the success for Cole, right? We asked for it a few rounds ago and we finally get it delivered. And for Vitality, no choice but to save. Yeah, that's actually a really good little uh, check there for Config as well, right? Shox is jumping to bait them in to make them think that that's the B-side player and there's no one in the apps on, on the close corner. Config doesn't fall for it. The flash is perfect. Shock's full blinded, overwhelmed by Rush, and then Config clears the right corner where Masuta definitely could have doubled down. Not today though. And that hard B hit for Cole. That's them a flawless round. No op needed. It's a cool idea for a setup. Quite the diaper there. <laughs> Thank you.
And that's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm liking these these B takes from Cole. Now, you can't rush B for 15 rounds on a T side. You could try. Partly because you just don't have enough rounds left to do that. Um, but, I, but I do like, you know, I, I wish that even when we saw them attempt this mid control, we had a few more resolutions over towards that B site. But once again, they're leaning heavy to A. On the back of the success that they've just found, they lose Blame F in middle early. RPK flashed into ramp, both players blind. And man, stay away from RPK. He's on a tear right now, three in the round. And supportive flashes ringing in from all my Apex back in the site. Vitality onto six and Cole. It's like they've got Stockholm Syndrome, man. Like they love A and A does not love them back. They keep going to it. And it's to the same result every single time. That A bomb site belongs to RPK and nothing complexity have done so far is gonna change my mind about it. This is a, a fresh vitality right now. These guys are looking so good. Maybe a team that could take the to whole tournament right away here. Still looking at 2-0 Cole. Fast out mid config, finding an opener. A necessity, there poison follows up. There it is, the orb getting into the fray. Looking for more vitality. Do they want to gamble and just put their players all on one site? They've got two on B right now, hoping for the best. Bomb is leaving middle. Config in a great position to just leave him there for the late round. And this will be the B play. This will be the read by Vitality 2 still here. Zaiwu on the AWP as well, watching short from the bench. No one's coming up short ways. How will Config activate? And look at this lean for RPK as well. They're pushing three towards B. Vitality, they're in your heads. They know exactly what's going on and they're about to get rewarded. Oh, one for Masuta. That slowed him down a bit. He's repositioned. No one's even looking at the truck. Masuta, oh, getting away with it all. Blame F up in the apartment. Suddenly the last man left, but look at Config. Look at this wrap all the way through market. RPK seems aware. Oh, but Config still in with the kill. Blame F is lost to Zaiwu, and it's all onto oh. Config, but denied by the orc back in the site. Vitality moving on to seven. And Masuta, like he had, he had seen two people since the pistol round and you know in one of them he was running an mp9 anyway finally he gets some open-ended engagements into that b site and he holds his own great puts up three stops the b rush from coming in right that rap from config would have been so much more impactful if those players in the site are worrying about even one extra man in the apartments but instead masuta gets it all under control and the money's the money's just wild right now for vitality if, if you're complexity you've got to grind your way back into this game every round you are going to be up against rifles you're going to be up against utility you're going to have to worry about that double orb and that's before you even take into account their own money. This round, they get into the A site. They've actually managed with these smokes to force Vitality out of position. So finally, there's an A plant to come in and a 5v5 retake. Looking to come through from the Frenchman. They need kills though. This is a desperate plan, right? They just took it because they got it. It's default. No one's playing for it. Collar flashing aggro. They're trying to take frags and they might find them in the middle. Blame getting one. A gun dropped. Apex smoking off connector and JKS pushed by the Molotov. Shox is holding. JKS. Oh, it's not spreading. He's not burning. He's still here. RPK's not ready. And Shox moves out, getting caught by the D. JKS backs up as the flames disappear and the nade won't kill him. He's in with another. Zywu chasing him down and JKS with everything in this round. Oh boy, that could have been a catastrophe with everyone spreading into middle for Cole. But JKS holds his own at the back of the site. Man, we, we had such a good start to Vertigo from JKS. You, you want this for him in a way, right? Like you want him to leave 100 Thieves, come over here to Cole and find success. Because it's very, very rare that you have like the, these Aussie imports put in positions where they're destined to be stars. And that's JKS right now. If we can have him reliving some of the uh, some of the glory moments, then that might make all the difference for complexity. Poison down through mid with the AWP. Someone else who's been a little bit quiet here once again. And that was a, a real worry for us. And for complexity. Oh dear. So hey, Zaiwu hits these. I'd Ooh. Only if you give them to him. Config's leaving. But that will at least keep Zaiwu there. Just the, the glimmer, the glimpse of an opponent. He's going to be anchoring B for some time until Cole right. starts to show their face on A. Are they going to try and feed off PK again? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the flash thing, excuse me, the pop flash worked out so well for RPK. Shox is doing it. Shox is throwing it in. Here it is. There's the flash. RPK. Oh, no, not again. RPK <laughs> with the double. <laughs> 
It's just the same thing Ooh, every round, but nah. Config has decided that enough is enough. And Rush out through Palace has left complexity in the advantage. With RPK gone, he has been the bane of their existence at this A bomb site. Now they finally got a little bit of room to maneuver and a man advantage as well. It's Zaiwu and Masuta. Make that just Zaiwu. Left in a 1v3, back at CT, looking for the man at stairs. That one's for free. Bomb now down, so it's Zaiwu on the clock. And Config going up on top of the boxes oh. is one step ahead. Three in the round oh. for Config. And Heroes now starting to emerge on the Complexity side to give them four. Yeah, Massive. And, and I'm sure Complexity sees that pop flash very brightly, of course. <laughs> and they just have nightmares. They have flashbacks. They think surely he's not going to do it through the smoke, and he does. But it's Rush and Config that, that bring this one back. Fig fighting onward from the apartments. Oh, double orb. It's out and about now for Vitality. He's always made the cat jump, but they don't even know. They are spamming him, though. Bit of awareness, surely. Poison with an opener, a necessary opener. Finding Apex in the window through that smoke. I was still out and about in middle. He's still very wide. Config could catch him with a top con smoke. So I was going to back out. Good timing. He was so low anyway. The Molly would have surely spelt his end. Now Cole hold on to a man advantage. Flashing into the ladder room. I'm still back at middle. Defaulting in this round. Mid is theirs. And Vitality have to respect that for now. They're going to gamble again. Leaning out of this B bomb site. It might be the right call. Shocks has been tagged. Both these orbs low. But still can be unleashed. Up in Palace is JKS, watching B is Rush, but he can come in under and join on this mid-take to the connector. That seems like the play for Cole. Conflict in window, it's being watched by Mizuta from afar. He's been great on these late activations. He doesn't have to go now. He can wait for his team to set up in connector, go for one of these A attacks, and then join them later. Poison's hesitating. It could be down on ramp. Think about how many rounds RPK has won in that position and back again. Oh, Vitality in the ramp side. Shocks and RPK set up. The bomb is here alone. If it gets dropped at 30 seconds, that's GG. That's the round, but Shocks has his knife out. He thinks it's a B play, and he gets punished for it. RPK is always good for a kill. Zywoo's dropped the bomb again at ramp, and Config now pressures on. Time is the ultimate enemy, and RPK in with the first. It's left to rush, but he's got a mad dash to get this. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! So much damage, but Zywoo there oh. to finish off the job that Masuta started. Vitality on to eight. Oh, I was almost believing in rush there. That 180 looked wild. Nice. So much damage dealt downrange. You've got to applaud the effort. It just comes up a little shy. That's a three on five as well, right? Shock, uh, Apex dying in window. Shock's dying with his knife out on ramp to the bomb. Like, if he wins that fight there, that round's already over before it begins. But the fact is, Vitality go down three on five. And again, this ace, these a site anchors, the AWP on Zaiwu, just dominate. There is no stop in this CT side. Cole, broken by now. Two pistols in their hands. Poison does have the orb. And they're going to crunch B. It's looking like a good call. This has been great to them in the past. There's only one player in the site. Shocks from a range, not hitting that shot. It's Mizuta alone, and Shocks can't follow up. The nade could be good. Rush with the entry, and go. the B site has fallen. There it is. Shocks having to look onward. Poison now with an AWP. Two to his name. Looks for more. Blocked out of the site. Vitality elect to save. <laughs> well, yeah. Five for complexity. And just look at how willing there they were to peek into the orb of poison. Like, he's been pretty much a non factor thus far for complexity. And I think that speaks volumes. Vitality just constantly giving him those fights, thinking they can beat him in the head to head. Well, finally, we see poison showing up a little bit, right? Delivering us two to really send that round home for complexity. And so now on to five. And you know, if we get a bit more out of poison, if we get Rush stepping up as well, I don't know, man. I still think this half is recoverable yet, right? With it with a similar kind of theme to that of Vertigo just moments ago where we saw that first half end on a bit of like a back and forth spree. Ended up being very, very close. See Apex are getting a bit frustrated as well. Even after they won the map, he, he ripped his headset off straight away back on Vertigo. A win is a win, but it comes at a cost. Vitality know that this half is still up for grabs for Cole, and they don't want to give it up here at the final hurdle. 
Shock's a bit quieter in this map. RPK storming the board. No one up to 10 on Cole's side. This is the money drawn into question by Vitality, right? Losing those players to Poison on the Orb. Now left to a pistol on Mizuta. They still have Zaiwu armed and dangerous. Again, early smokes in mid. Cole set Poison up with the Orb over on the ramp. It's very passive on A for Vitality for a change. They're going to move Shox into the site. He's not got the range on that MP9. He's playing under the palace. RBK on an off angle. Tempting them out ramp. Poison with the pick. Zaiwu is out. Shox is going to get aggressive in front of the Molotov, but JKS hits the immediate dink. And RPK does net one at the back of A. The bomb has been dropped. Cole have to commit. There's no question about it. Oh, RPK is so keen to fight. Surely no one's ready for this. Poison. Oh, close. Spam down low by RPK. Look at him. He's so wanting to take these engagements. Out through connector, there is Blame F. That's something that no one knows about yet for Vitality. So Blame F could... Oh, oh RPK. RPK seen him. Does a bit of damage, but that's when the swing comes oh. in. And Blame and JKS get the round locked Ooh. in between them. RPK's on a tear. Like, look at him. He's like foaming at the mouth, trying to fight everything right now. Yeah. All right, buddy. 19 and 7. Somebody check in on RPK. He's having an absolutely unreal performance right here. Great Poor old Masuta's has like barely seen anyone. Yeah. Life of a B player. Well, maybe B is where this one ends up. Bomb starts making its way all the way towards A as it stands in the last round of this first half. Yeah, B has been great for Cole as well. So certainly shows why Mizuta is struggling. He got that one round with a big 2K in a another disadvantage round for Vitality. But other than that, nothing. It's not really been a worry though. Vitality have won the half at a bare minimum. Now they're just looking for another one of these force buys that they often can sneak over the line, but against the well-armed Cole, contact out A, Apex with nades in hand, caught out by the Palace push. RPK building his CZ75, but not in time as Cole runs through that A site. Stuck in connector is Zaiwu, but he's going to walk the smoke and Blame is patiently waiting for this play. Almost a double for Config. Zaiwu's dead in the water. And Mizuta, well, he's here, but he's in a one-on-four for the end of the half. It's not going to happen. It's Cole again, level-headed, level-pegging seven at the end of their T-side. Can they build? Can they find their map pick? Or will it be Vitality to the grand final? Stick around and find out.
We go into the second half of play, and it's 8-7 currently. We are ready to jump things back off on Mirage. And so far, so good for Vitality. Having picked up the first map, they want to end it all right here. They want to find their way into that grand final to face off against Navi, and that'll be going on tomorrow. In addition to the North American Grand Finals, after this game, we're going to have Chaos taking on Evil Geniuses, the North American side of things. So make sure you stick around for that. But Vitality, 8-7. Not necessarily in the driver's seat, but leading by one. Yeah, you know, considering that was seven to two in favor of Vitality at one point, this is a good first half for Cole. Like that is a nice recovery to have, but they oh. need to keep it up. And JKS with the opener, this pistol already exploding onto your screens. Blame F behind triple helped out by Poison. Oh, and Blame with the two taps gets them both. It's left to shocks in the 1v3. It makes the jump, but did they hear it? No one's looking at window other than blame for the palace. Poison tucked. Can't get caught for now. Now he's looking to the right place. Now Shox is trapped in, although he doesn't know it. Not really many options to go. On a timing, he could make the CT. So JKS needs to consider that back flank. Yeah, this is a really rough spot to be in. There's so many eyes looking at him. They're so aware that this is likely where he's heading. And so shocks, it's going to require... Oh, oh no, oh, Poison dear. checks close left. Now they've been holding... Like, Blame F has been watching. Admittedly checking connector on timings, but my goodness. All right, one on two from a 1v3. Yeah, and the bomb down in one of the most inopportune positions. Shox is going to have to land some bangers right here. 40 seconds. Oh, he's anticipating that JKS is going to go top ticket again, and that's not the case. JKS just jiggling. And the longer that Shox waits for these fights, the less time he has left. Blame F still hidden, still waiting. Oh. Retrieve. Oh, oh Shox now down in the 1v1. He's leaving. He's, he's trying oh. to feign it out. He's trying to fake Blame into a peak, and Blame is oh. going to give it to him. Oh, no. Oh, Shox with a hell of a round. Vitality onto nine. And Shoxy plays them like a fiddle. My goodness, it's nine for the Frenchman. He baited the death cam. JKS makes the call. I saw him running back. I saw him running mid. Shox, if anything had time, he could have jumped up catwalk and made it to B, but he chooses not to. He knows Blame's in the sight. He knows that might bait him out. And the patience pays off for Shox. Man, that is poetry. Every, look how happy they are. Like, that's unreal. I'm oh. lost for words. Nine for Vitality. And now, like, this lead well and truly solidified. First pistol that they've been able to pick up as well. They've not won these yet. They've always just been winning the four spies in the second. Yeah. Now they don't have to. With that in the pocket, is there anything that can stop Vitality? Oh, my. That's one for the ages. Four on the pistol. And Vitality looking for those grand finals. Tasting them on the tip of their tongue. Tangible at best. Let's see if Cole's forces can be anything like the Frenchman's. Right out into the A-site contact as well. This is a very dangerous play, but there's luckily no one even considering it. There's the peak. JKS about time finds RPK. Revenge on the ramp side. He's still stuck. He's still trapped with no real support. Poison can't find a pick, but he peeks through with a wall bang. Maybe the forces are cursed today after all. Cole coming back in with one of their own, perhaps. Now would be the time, right? If you were going to finally come in with a force by victory of your own, you'd want it to be here. But Zai Wu, he wants anything but. <laughs> oh, oh. Shocks beats him to it. Config does get rid of Masuta, so it's still the advantage for Call. And oh, Zai Wu's taking shots from an enemy he can't even see. They've wrapped CT, and now they make these two players in the site a little uncomfortable, a little claustrophobic. But Shocks and Zai Wu are just manhandling complexity. They've put it into the 2v1. Config, oh, the dink onto shocks, but the follow-up is in. And Vitality, they find that conversion. And who swings that? What guy? Shocks. He gets dinked through the wall and then goes wide. What a madman. That could have been the, the clutch for Config, but no. Vitality just taking every fight they can after they go down three on five. 
Just brutal scenes. Double digits locked on in for the French. And Cole just waiting in the wings, waiting for that money to build up. Now they've got to eco one more. Conflicts drop lower, but only a USP. They're going to crunch middle together with the flash coming in from the A site. It's a good flash, and they do find shocks after one, but now A just gets erupted upon by Vitality, who hold down their W keys, mashing them as they chase down these eco kills. And no one can survive the tirade of T's. It's 11 for Vitality. My, oh my, man. Vitality are just delivering so much. And, and the great thing is, is it hasn't just been, you know, the Zaiwu show. It hasn't just been like shocks dropping 30 every games. We've had like strong performances from different individuals yeah. on every single map so far. And it's just feeling like pound for pound. They, they are looking better than complexity are right now. We need to see more. We really do. Cannot stress this enough. Config as well. Someone who, who looked unstoppable back on Vertigo. If we could even get, you know, 80% of that, then this complexity lineup maybe can still salvage something. Down here through lower, Zaiwu is on the approach and he's got shocks and Masuta with him. Zaiwu to open, poison taken out of the round. That's a free AWP if Zaiwu wants it, but he's on the AK. He's feeling fine with it. JKS holding. Oh, good for one, but Zaiwu with the immediate trade. No kill going unpunished at this point in time. Complexity having to fight tooth and nail just to even take an engagement, let alone win it. And for Blame Rush and Config, they've got this AWP, they're 3v4. Might this just have to be a save that you never want to have to call, you never want to have to commit to. But if you don't, and you go for this, and you lose everyone, you're up against 12 staring down the barrel of an eco. Yeah, with nothing being offered up, that's the, the call made for Cole, just hiding out in the spawn. Now, there shouldn't be any exits available for Vitality, but Apex is coming in from spawn, and Rush does kill Zaiwu. Huge frag there. Config is trapped. Is there cover? Rush throwing a smoke for him, but he's already right through it. Apex, nothing to lose, everything to gain. He's got the money to play it, and Config at least holding on with his AWP. Those are massive exits for Cole, considering the climate of this matchup, but it might all be in vain if Vitality continue to build rounds. Yeah, they're just four rounds away from putting the nail in Complexity's coffin right here. And believe it or not, we're joined in our fan cams by Francesca Ward. Ah. Hello, Frankie. We see you. Vitality, four away from going to the grand finals versus Navi. And I mean, that's a, that's a sick grand final, isn't it? Zaiwu versus Simple. Oh, what's not to love? Apex. Had He's enough. not waiting around, man. Like, look, complexity weren't even ready. Poison's peaking ramp. Like, well, you know, I'll just see if anyone. Oh, I got killed from Tetris. Joy, oh joy. Complexity, a man down. Having to get back into this A site and the round's just Whoa. started. Zai Wu's like, nah, mate, get the hell out of here. And Masuta's even chiming in with kills. Config gone off the one. And Rush with it all against him. That nade might find Zai Wu and it will. And there Whoa. is the follow up for Rush. So can he get any more? Over in mid, there's two uh. players, Masuta and Shox, to try and play this uh. post plant. Rush caught getting into the site. And that smoke's mi missed its mark a bit. Masuta there to put him down. A vitality onto 13. And if he got on the bomb from the, from the other side, from the, the CT side of triple, that might have been his. Like, sure, vitality can spray, but Shox is late. Masuta's low. Rush has a nade. There are a lot of options there, but he goes around the wide side and gets tagged up so low. Nice try regardless. Gets two in the retake, but it is not a one round. And it's vitality just flexing their muscles right now. Playing out of spawn as fast as they physically can. Apex is already deep in A before Poison's picked up the orb. Let alone look down the scope. Quick pause for Cole. But can they solve anything this late in the game? Yet to field a CT side around. Five on three on the four spy that could have broke the economy back in their favor and still that was won by Vitality. Is there anything they can't do? Damn, ecoing this one is hard as well, right? You have a lot of loss bonus, but... Uh, Just not enough. Yeah, a couple of players would have been lacking, like Config, for example, but still, I mean, it would have been a decent rifle round. However, they want everything, and Zaiwu is taking it right from them. 
Flash into lower. RPK running through. They're not blinded. They did dodge it. Good stuff. But Masuta's is there for the double trade after RPK falls. And it all turns out fine for Vitality, as often is the case. Well, Config, the sole defender of both bomb sites, one on three, down to 49. And with a deagle in hand, he just peers his eyes over here towards the safe side. He gets smoked off, and that's going to open up the doorway. Grabs an AK from middle. He's going to need that. Molotov as well. Immediately dumps it onto the site, jumps up into the window, makes his way into jungle. Ooh. Finds one out in the open. Shocks taken out. One on two. It's going to take some supreme positioning here from Config. Get a Molotov off. They stop Config dead in his tracks trying to come through Connector. Yeah, the utility is so annoying, right? Config, this didn't feel doable. Like, this was 1v4 when this round began. He's got it down close. But with Zaiwu and Masuta still to beat, he's looking the wrong way. Flash out through Palace. And there's the peak. Vitality, they lock him out of the clutch. And they put 14 up. And man, this game's gotten kind of weird. Like, it just feels like the divide between these two teams has started to look so apparent in the later stages, right? Vitality, they're not even really calling anything anymore. They're just like running out of sport and winning every single fight. They're going towards A. They're not even really throwing utility for a lot of these pushes. Like they're just beating you in the straight up gunfight. And that's horrible to play against, you know, like you're you're sat there anticipating them to like bleed the time out, throw all their utility. Now nah, they're just running in and headshotting you. And then it's like, oh, well, cool. Is this round going to be more of the same? Bit of mid utility to get Masuta in. Config spotting RPK up in the apartments. And this time it is a return to a bit of a slower round here from Vitality. Knowing how close this game is, that this is the last fall by complexity you're going to have if they don't find this round. And so there's a lot hinging on it. For Vitality, this can be their way to just close the series 2-0 and without really much of a challenge if they get this one in the bag. And it's looking good for it. Masuta giving over this 4-on-4. Four four. And even though he's up short, even though the bomb was with him, this is all ending up back in an A play. Zai Wu up through Khan, gets the better of Poison. JKS alone at ramp, traded after one, just immediately put in the dirt. It's Russian config left to retake this site. Now, both of these players have delivered us almost clutches, maybe together. Maybe up against 14, they can deliver something. Either that or it's a save that... Yeah. It really is like the, the most horrible decision to have to make. Yeah, that's a nightmare call, but unfortunately, again, it's just the right one for Cole. And without kills offering up, just wanting anything, any weapon to field in the follow-up round against 15, against tournament point for them. This is elimination in the semifinals and vitality Taking on Nartus Vincere. One round away, a flawless T side, nothing stopping them. And like you said, just very loose rounds now from Vitality. It's beautiful stuff, just letting off the leash. Zywu running around with the orb. Apex just charging out off spawn. You honestly love to see it. Orb bought for the best mid spawn as well, coming through and back to their usual tricks. We do have a couple of guns saved for Cole and the Lost Bonus. That's really everything. That's all they've got, and they've got to make it work now with eight straight in a row to open up OT. Well, Zaiwu right up catwalk. Bye bye. Takes down Poison. Tried to get cheeky, but blame with the trades. Not going to last very long. Apex is on the scene. Four on three. This is looking to be a statement piece from Vitality. They win that first map. Now they go into the second, the map picker complexity. And Vitality are about to have a flawless second half. Like, just let that sink in. Call haven't had a single round yet on this CT side. And that might be how their run here in Beijing is remembered. Three on three, but JKS is low. Rush from Connector. He's got to do... Oh, he oh missed it. My. He missed the timing. How on earth has that just happened? Apex now in through Con, and they don't know about him. They don't know that he's here. They think that Rush has been watching it because he's checking it on timings. JKS has aggressed through Palace, but this just gives up the A bomb site to Vitality. Oh, look at Zywoo. Zywoo's even hunting. He's like, well, this doesn't feel right. He smells the blood in the water. Apex about to have a gifted oh. kill. Config offers his backup. 
Zywoo just knows he's one step ahead. Rush does get one in con, eventually finishing the job. JKS is doubling back. Vitality read the palace flank. They know JKS has done this, but he's not going on the back ramp. He's going back through his original route. Rush coming in on middle, and this is the 2v2 for the tournament for Cole. Otherwise, it's Vitality to the finals. JKS, there he is, already taken out. Rush, last guy left alive, sees the double ramp pulled, and RPK, oh, of course it's RPK, the tank to get Vitality across the line. They 2-0 complex.